so this is the first um, idea for the design. So it's just like what we did when we first met yeah. up. Um, I'm so glad that that's not going to be. Can you yeah. see this? Yeah. I'm so glad that's not going to be there. Yeah, it will be there. It'll be hidden. Yeah, but I yeah. hate that bit. You know, yeah. that I can see. So that'll be tucked away. So, so the thing that's going to make the biggest difference, we need to look at changing the overall shape so that it just it yeah. just works with your face. It's just not. I mean, it's not a natural that's shape a at the shape, moment. Isn't so it? yeah. So by bringing these little sides in here, just it just softens things naturally you'd have this little curtain that sort of falls here and it's really softening and it just looks very... See, I kind of like lost that. Mine was quite low, but then I lost that. Right, like by filling in this. So if you're going to bring the hair in here, you've got to think about what the impact that mm -hmm. is on elsewhere. So if that's going to be there, then this needs to bring it forward to, to soften. And it's soft and it should be like, this is where we're going to really be working hard to find soft hairs. You see how fine these are? Yeah. So we need to try and find the finest hairs that we can and they should sit really flush and flat to the skin and they just flow backwards. So, so this area won't be hard. I mean, it looks at the weird. minute, it just goes out. Yeah, yeah. so the angles here, uh, you know, normally I'd put the head flowing down rather than yeah. here, here the head sort of going out a bit. So we can try and overpower that a bit by putting hairs above it in the right direction, which might help to sort of them, help them to flow a little bit. Um, so this is going to be soft. It always looks weird when it's a yeah. line because it's harsh and it's in you know, a big fat back line, but it's going to be very soft and, and, and um, subtle here and then we want to just break up what's currently quite a straight line here mm. by putting in some irregularities again it's not going to be these fat lines like this there'll be some little scattered hairs just to yeah. break it up too but just to give it a little bit of and what i'm doing there is i'm building so here you've got some two and three head grafts sitting in the hairline so these would normally be little fine single hairs so we'll yeah. put some little fine hairs in front of them oh is that why you've done it like yeah. around the big ones that's right that's sort of roughly why, where we put the irregularities um if there are any big fat two or three head grafts and they're sort of still offending us at the end of the day we can punch them out we can remove those um, but we'll see we'll, i think we'll just see how it all comes together and then work out whether we need to do any fine tuning so that's just to create some little irregularity and soften things without actually physically lowering the hairline. Yeah. I know you said you wanted to keep the dimensions. If you have to, you, like if you need to bring it like a bit further down, I, I don't mind, I'm not going to mm. be like, oh, it, no. like as long as you but know what you're You're well doing, proportioned yeah. now, aren't you? I mean, it's crude, but the, th yeah. the three... Now, after they took four inches off it. <laughs> Is that how much it was? No, so, but it's still. Not. I, I don't know that I'd, I wouldn't want your hairline, hairline any lower. You can see where it was. It was yeah. there. Well, it's where my black line is. Yeah. So again, on this side, and rather than these sort of ins and outs, it's nice to have, you don't want the same thing on both sides, so it, it's, mm. it's different. So here we've got some little sweeps rather than little curls and hooks, which is what we've got here, and then this, this just sweeps around. Because at the moment this is slightly higher, we could, I brought this down a little bit more than what we've got in there. Not because I want symmetry, I just wanted to balance. Um, and then we've got the same thing going on here, obviously the curls. But it might have been down a bit, because it, na it was naturally like a bit lower there, wasn't yeah. it? A lot of people always, you know, they say, oh, I want these, you know, kind of bring the corner and I want this round, but that just doesn't yeah. happen. You know, well, it's pretty much what you had before, yeah. well, as in with the surgery before. So if, if people always ask to bring this down and it just isn't natural, mm. so many, so many really lovely hairlines in women are actually more squared off than this. They come right back, but because the hair flows over, it always softens it anyway. Mm. So I think we need to be careful not to do too much. Um, and the other thing that's really important is to try to not only soften the hairline, but soften the, the overall appearance because you can see that things are... See-through, isn't it? Well, it's see-through, yeah, so it needs more density, but it's also in rows, so mm. things, nothing should be linear in it's nature. It's like a grid, isn't it? So, so we're going to go through a break up with lines. You can see them when lines. you go like that, like yeah. you can see the rows. So, so yeah, so we'd, we'd normally make something much more irregular, so we'll mm. be going in and out and, and, and breaking up those, those lines that you can see there. I think you can see them quite well on this side here. Yeah. So hair, yeah. So hair doesn't grow in lines, obviously it grows really irregularly. Oh, Go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna ask you, but then I realised we're filming. You know, when you train in this, do you learn? You know, like with brows, we do like certain hair straight mm -hmm. patterns. Mm -hmm. Do you learn patterns to right? So the men, or is it just really random? Uh, it's a bit of both. So hair is occurs occurs in random patterns, mm -hmm. but the patterns are going to be the flow. Like, so your hair naturally doesn't all grow forward. You know, there'll be areas where it sweeps off to one side. So your hair's naturally going to be coming across more. I think here it's growing up too much. So, so yeah. the angles and the directions are so important. So we'll be looking naturally at naturally it went, used to go like that. Right, and we'll try and flow. I know you said you didn't like the cowlick, so you yeah. don't want... I, I'm not but if it's there, it's... No, but I'm not going to recreate something you don't like, but I think it still needs a little bit of character mm. so that it looks natural. Um, the important thing also is getting right back to... I mean, it's actually all the way back here. But 
that we want to get into. So it's, a, it's very tempting just to work with the big easy gaps, but actually we want to get right into all this hair and blend it in so that you've got this seamless transition of grafting into your existing hair, which is just, it just makes you just feel like it was always there and it should, that's exactly at how it should At least it kind of like works, like at least it, I've got something there now, you know, from mm. that first one. I know it's like, yeah. the so only consolation is that it is like, there is some the density, but. Yeah. And the hairs, are, oh sorry, the hairs are going to become, I mean, at the moment, they, you, you were saying they were quite dry initially, which is normal, and your hair will always They're grow now. through, yeah. And so now this is starting to feel like much more natural hair. So, it, you know, it I mean, like, when you do the incisions, do you have certain patterns that you do in terms of, like, Yeah, a little bit, but they're done in little triangles. So you go one, you go up in a little triangle above it, and then down in a little triangle beneath it. So it ultimately becomes yeah. a totally irregular pattern, so. But you have a method that you follow to, yeah. get, to make so sure it's a, you... it's a method that creates an irregular pattern. Fourteen, fourteen months. Yeah. Post your repair surgery. Yeah. Just tell us about how you know it's changed your life in terms of how you can wear your hair and so on. I feel like it's totally changed my life having it done. Um, when from when I came here last time, before I'd had it done, I had no confidence. Felt that like when people were talking to me, they were looking up at my hairline. Um, just been got married and been on a honeymoon, and 
my hair was like the least thing I had to worry about with my wedding and I thought it was going to be initially before I came here I thought it was going to be such a big problem and I actually didn't have to worry about it once. How was your wedding day? Oh our wedding was amazing yeah, yeah it was so good I had, I had my hair up I had a bit down here but even before when I'd had the previous work done to my hairline you could still see this line um, and then before I'd even had it touched at all it never used to sit right at the front so for the first time I could actually have my hair up and have my fringe down and it just looked nice. Yeah. <laughs> I can wear hairstyles now that I've never yeah. been able to. So you're enjoying the freedom that it allows you though to be able to wear your hair off your face which was the, the whole reason for the surgery in, in the first place wasn't it? Yeah and I, I also have a hairstyle where I part it in the middle and I have it really mm -hmm. slicked down so it looks really flat on my head mm -hmm. and I've never been able to have that either so I can actually do styles that a lot of people might take for granted that mm -hmm. even before the poor surgery that I had, surgery, procedure, mm -hmm. um, my natural hairline wouldn't allow me to do it so I'm really happy now. Good. I could do anything. Good. It's great. So you, had, you had the FUT procedure, the strip procedure, yeah. so um, that's before you had the FUE. So how have you found the scar at all? Has it, has it limited you in any way at all? No, I was just saying that I, when I try and feel for it, I, I don't even know where it is. Um, and that that's genuine. I, I just can't even feel it. Um, I don't scar terribly anyway, but particularly with this, I just it's just not an issue. And the recovery was so much better. Even the, um, the grafts, like I didn't have the swelling that I had the first time and I felt with the strip procedure I just kind of got back to life really quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, and obviously you didn't have to shave your head for that procedure either, so that was a lot easier for you in terms of the recovery. Yeah, I didn't. the first procedure that I'd had done previous to come to this clinic, I'd had a, a big patch taken out, um, mm -hmm. punched out, so it was like the FUT. FUE, FUE, yeah. FUE procedure and it took a long time to grow back so I lost a lot of thickness mm -hmm. whereas this time I've just had a kind of sliver mm -hmm. and cut out um, so I've not had that worry of having that chunk of yeah. hair shaved. And you wear your hair up the back there so you yeah, wear my hair up, concerns um, with the scar showing can't at all. can't see anything, even, yeah. even my hairdresser couldn't even see it. So. Excellent, okay.